Hey guys, hello and welcome to the Grocket Guitar Channel. I'm Shai, grower of monsters, meaning a guy who helps other guys uh, get scary good. I'm here to help you today with a super, super fun topic that's both uh, advanced and beginnery because uh, it's never too late or too early to start creating. So the lesson is about melodic and harmonic improvisation. And it starts with a person just uh, uh, playing chords and humming along. That's already a form of writing. And goes to uh, kind of a more advanced way of doing it. Let me show you what I'm talking about and how I'm going to help you uh, get this into your own playing and creativity. Okay, starting with a public humil humiliation, which is me trying to uh, uh, make up a short, silly song on the spot. So check this out. This is uh, always... Uh, painful, scary, and funny, and sometimes exciting. Uh, I have here a simply uh, a random note generator. You know, we can click it an infinite amount of times. It'll just come up with this, these uh, random combinations of uh, four notes. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it five times, and I'm going to be stuck with a starting point for my uh, song. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have something. Um, let's see, A, D, D flat, E, you can listen to it. Okay, wow, very dramatic, I mean the way I hear it at least. I'm kind of thinking of the D sharp, D flat as C sharp, just because uh, it's sort of, I'm getting uh, kind of a D minor vibe here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try to make that into a song playing chords and melody at the same time and teach you how to get into that. Again, the motive was this, okay? A lot was wrong with that, but I think you got the point that you can have a lot of fun uh, while making up melodies and chords at the same time. And I'm only here with one uh, substantial cheat for you when you're learning this stuff. And the cheat is as follows. Remember the C major scale? It has diatonic chords. So I can say this is the progression found in nature. But what if I use diatonic intervals to make more progressions? How do I do that? Start on C, and for example, I can go inside the C major scale in thirds. C, E, G, B, D, F, A. And that will give me another order, so that means I can play the chords like this. C, E minor, G7, B, D minor 7. I can go in fourth like this. C, F, B, E, E, D, G. And then you always go back to C. And that will give me this. Another natural progression. I can go up in fifths, which 
being lazy and smart, I always go down in fourth. And go uh, up a sixth or down a third. Or go up a seventh, which sounds like uh, high mathematics for my small brain, but it also means going down the steps. So what does this have to do with harmonic, melodic improvisation? It means the following, that when I have a motive and I'm having a hard time with it, for example, I can always say, okay, let's hop on a diatonic cycle, in this case C major, I'll do like fourths in C major. Sorry about that. So what that means is that um, I don't have to be panicky about what the next chord is because sometimes I'll say, okay, the next chord is actually a sequence of chords, in this case, a diatonic cycle. So it really uh, lets me uh, think uh, more melodically. Okay, and I'll just do a final one. So if I have these same four notes and I know that I want to move in thirds, for example, So I just knew that I'm starting on D minor, I'll be moving down in thirds, and that gives me progressions and uh, frees up space for my melodic thinking. So what would I suggest to do to get this into your brain? Do the following. First of all, get play the seven sequences. Seconds, thirds, and so on and so forth. If you can, and you know some voice leading, it's amazing to add voice leading to this. For example, this is a fourth in drop three. This is uh, thirds in drop three. Ah. Okay, so they make up these really, really cool progressions, and uh, once you have the progressions down, then just make up silly melodies. So I can be in C major, down in thirds, like C, C, and start making up melodies. Get it? It's a lot of fun. I hope it'll fuel your creativity. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, like, subscribe, let me know what you think, and uh, happy hunting for musical treasure. Bye, guys.